Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Well, hi, everyone. Welcome to my stream. As you can see, I have a sweet, precious boy as a special guest. It was a big, it was an ordeal getting him situated for the photo for our thumbnail. So I just hope you all appreciate it. Oh, Stanny boy. The boy, the boy is sleeping. So how is everyone? I need to get my chat situated. I can't see anything. I did see a well, hi. Oh, 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 What was that? What was that? What was that? Dead spotty ear. Yeah, so sometimes if for whatever reason I click when I go to like go live, like make a stream, if I don't click manage stream immediately, it will start streaming an old default stream from like my Ghost of Tsushima days, like last year, obviously. Um, and it will just start a default stream. And and then I and then it says you're live and I'm like, wait, what? And then I have and then I have to clean it up and it's a whole ordeal. So thank you for for uh, understanding and realizing that that was not the real stream, but this is the real stream. Everything should be working. I think I got a thumbnail, a title, everything's everything's up. This boy is snoring. Boy, he's too oh it's early and that means that these people will need to be entertained a little bit, sweet boy. Boy, these people want entertainment in the morning. What 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 else like These people want entertainment, boy. You gotta give it to them. You gotta give it to them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I got this. I'll kiss the paw. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going, little wiggle scoochie? He's scooching his little butt. <laughs> Where are you going? Do you wanna lay there? Or do you want down? Oh, he might want to just lay here. He might want to just lay here. That's okay, boy. Everybody can see that little spotty ear. Everybody can see that. This makes everybody's morning better. You're welcome. Look at me, guys, getting going by eight. How about that? How about that? Doing well. Got coffee. Uh had my morning done my morning routine got this boy fed got him taken out he is really wanting to just go back to sleep as you can tell but i said no boy we got a we got rim world to do uh, i did not get to stream yesterday as i'm sure some of you noticed uh so thank you for not being too angry and and being here today instead when i can be here and it's and it's saturday i almost said it was another day but it's not it's saturday um, and m more importantly, it's the weekend, and you guys know how I feel about the weekends. What are weekends for? Also, how awesome is this Atari hoodie? Can we talk about this Atari hoodie? Look at the, look at this, look at this sleeve, look at that. This is a nice, nice, nice hoodie. Oh, sweet boy. Oh, sweet boy. Oh, sweet boy. Can we play the drums? I feel like I'm singing boss music, some Final Fantasy boss music right now as I play the, the puppy bongos. Boop, boop, boop. This booty boy. Mm. 
that booty. Come here. Come here. I got him. I got him. Oh, he just wants to lay down so bad. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. Oh. Okay, boy. Would you, would you like to be in the floor or the couch or my lap? I say lap until, until you decide that you need to be there. Oh. Where you going, boy? That's not even comfortable, boy. He's literally laying half in the half in the seat, half out. Okay. Yeah. This boy just wants to sleep. Come here. Everyone kiss the paw. One more time. Kiss it. Let's take this boy to the couch. Yeah. Ready, boy? All right, on the count of three, we're going to get up together, okay? One, two, three. Okay. Now, this boy's got him a nice little cozy to cuddle up on. There we go. There we go. Oh, I got a, um, his bed, a bed at my feet if he changes his mind. Oh my God. Let's do this. Let's do this. Distinguished gentleman. Yeah, we call him um, Jowls McGillicuddy is his like top hat and a monocle character. Jowls McGillicuddy. Or just cheese boy. Oh my God, he's so cuddling up. What's up, Angel? Welcome. Welcome back, Angel. I recognize the name. I remember. I'm glad to see you back among the ranks of the, the OK Gamers. I appreciate it, man. Um, what did I miss while I was wrestling a cheese boy? Tie Five's angry. Of course she is. Bleep, bloop. Haley is playing RimWorld. Nice. RimWorldception. I love it. Um, oh my god, I'm so squares here. What's up? What a great day. All right, y'all. Let's let's make some adjustments here. Mm -hmm. Did RJ City already say well hi and then leave? And we're left with RJ Ramos. Is that how it goes? Is that how it, is that how it happens? Why is it cut? Because because that's a that's a thing. That's a that's like my signature move, man. Um, first of all, I don't like hoodies that they, they make me feel like I'm being choked and I don't like it uh, when they pull, when they're really tight. So if you, uh, listen, chopping up my clothing is, is a thing that I excel at and you have to cut this perfect and then, and then tear and then tug just a little so that it doesn't get like all wonky or whatever. So it basically just opens up the neck so that I can breathe and do things like wear my hood all the time and not feel like I'm being choked to death. Stan has got badonk donk Yeah, he does. Even though he's skinny, he's still got badonk donk All right. Where were we? Oh yeah, we're going into the winter, y'all. It's bad. We're in Let's see how many times I restart Room World. Eh, don't keep count, Haley. Don't keep count. But I will praise the sun in honor of that donation. Thank you very much. Don't keep count. It's gonna be more times than than uh, than is worth mentioning. It's gonna be a lot. If you're playing it right, it's gonna be a lot. Well, Loco, nothing's happened yet, so relax. We're literally just sitting at the menu while I wrestle the cheese boy and read the chat. Um, we are, actually, hold on. Oh my god! Look at this boy! Oh! He makes just a little bit of it. Oh! So cute! 
You, I bet you, I bet you cannot even see him. But I'm gonna try and show you guys this. How? He's literally blending in. Look how cute! This is what I got sitting beside me. Just a little cuddle bug. Just a little cuddle bug. You're so sweet. What a sweet, precious boy. <sighs> need a cheese boy cam. I do need a cheese boy cam. I do. I need a puppy cam. Period. In in my office, so that when 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 they're just chilling, we can. Just, I can just have that, you know, screen and screen. Because that's really what people, that's really what people are interested in seeing, you know? I know this. I, I'm aware. I'm okay with it. Thieves Houston. So, I don't know if you guys remember... But it's winter, or it's coming into winter. We're just now coming into winter. Have a little coffee. Mm -hmm. He did not want to get up this morning. I can tell you that much. Mm. What do we got? We gotta work on our bed situation. Look at this little tiny barn though. We're doing okay. I mean, we're doing okay. It could definitely, you know, be better. We have some packaged survival meals as a backup. We still got poo in the we gotta clean out the poo. Dang it. Uh, the 4th of Jugist. Alright guys, we gotta get through this. How much food we got? Not very much. Great, 13. Me is researching, that's great. Sometimes I like to just let him go and not slow mode, but just so regular speed, normal play speed. Learning how to manage your time is really important. I like to play in, in three times speed a lot, but honestly, until you're really, what, what? Okay, a bunch of things just happened. Until you're really good at knowing when to start and stop and not let things get away from you, then I would recommend playing in normal play speed, maybe two times. This is mainly for Haley, who I know is playing. Um, and just take your time, don't rush. Like, take your time. So we have an animal transport pod crash, and we had a rescue animal join. So this crash, Lolita, Lo wait a minute, are you serious? Are you serious? Lolita the rat? Well, I mean, I guess she has to live with us now. I don't know, like, what can you do about that? Oh my god. Mark my <laughs> phone. I, I feel like that will only be okay if I'm like, kill the muffalo shortly thereafter. And I like this muffalo. I don't want to hate it. I don't want to hate it, FOMO. Mm. Now he's just gonna be... <sighs> but I love the muffalo. Also, listen, you... I... It's like a trade-off. Name, name things, things you love, they're probably gonna die. Name something, something you hate, it'll probably never die. And, and will just forever be impossible to kill. There it is. 
Mark Buffalo. All right. Thank you, FOMO. I appreciate your contribution to the stream. This animal's name is now Mark Muffalo. He'll never die. Watch. He'll never die. Wait. This one's a female. Can we at least wait until we get a male Muffalo to name it Mark Muffalo? Because this is a female. Now, now he's just confused. You know? Let's think about these things. And thank you. Praise the sun. Praise the sun! It's the winter time, but we can still praise the sun. Barracuda. Chillin'. Lolita, Lolita the rat. How about that? Mega Wolverine and a hair. Where's Mr. Mega Wolverine? We kind of need to hunt him. If we could hunt this Mega Wolverine, I think we'd be okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be enough to like basically get us through the the winter. God damn, why you got so many bullets? kind of micromanage their inventory, at least I do, so that I don't, so that nothing gets confused. Good, good meat. Could go horribly wrong, though, trying to hunt a muffalo or a mega wolverine first thing like that. For real, that could be real bad. And it's just, it's out in the woods. I ain't feeling it. I, I'm gonna wait for him to get closer. Harp, where you going? Stockpile. Hey, remember when Victor joined the colony? He didn't even join the colony, man. Just lived in our house for a few days and then... And then died of hypothermia because he was too cold. Yeah, we were scouting places to build the power plant. Morning, Sam. Minor break. Harp. No breaks. What are you doing? Just moving things. Organize some things. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Finally got some more animals. Rats, hares. Hunting thing. Okay, the Arctic coyotes have a 10% chance of attacking. That's still pretty bad, but they are coyotes. So I'm willing to take a chance. You know what I mean? Like. Hunting Arctic Coyote. All right, Barracuda, let's see what you got. Because we need uh, all kinds of things. Bone, meat, we just, we need it all. Oh, oh, oh no! Not good. Harp, not good. Okay, everyone is about to, it was, it's about to be bad. It's about to be bad. It's about to be bad. How did it, I thought it was full. 
I 100% thought this bad boy was dead, full, whatever. And now I gotta get try to get back while also shooting. Oh no. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh my god. It's a miracle. Y'all, my heart rate just spiked through the roof. Like, through the freaking roof. I need you to go back. Everyone go back. I don't even know if you guys know. Oh, Jesus God, Christ. Oh, God. I don't even know if you guys know what happened. But that Mega Wolverine ate the coyote. And I thought it was coming for Barracuda. And it didn't. It didn't. Uh, but somehow we survived that cargo pods apparel. I can't get, I can't go anywhere. There's a tiger leather sombrero that I would like to have, but guess what? I can't. You know why? Because there's a giant mega wolverine lurking. And I ain't hunting this bad boy during the day or during the night. I gotta only attack him during the day. Oof. I 100% thought Barracuda was dead. We gotta hunt. And now there's a solar flare happening, which is hurting our power. It's fine. Lolita. This is so... <sighs> harp, Harp, what the fuck are you doing, Harp? Harp, do you have a death wish, Harp? Do you have a death wish? You must. You must have a death wish, is all I can figure. Hey, the Aurora is nice. It's really nice. I just am not confident in their ability to, for their guns to be enough to take this down. The rat's name is Lolita. She came with a name. Barracuda was named by Stacy Lynn, and we also have Mark Muffalo, who's a girl. He is researching. I'm honestly trying to just hunker down and hope that more things will show up during the winter months. All right, where's the raccoon? Oh god, they're all so hard to see. Good. Go hunt a raccoon, Barracuda. That's a bit safer. We like that instead. Perfect. Om nom 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 nom. We're gonna eat some raccoon. Oh god. Yeah, we are desperately low on food right now. It's not good. Alright, Harp, where are you at? Uh, I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like that. You gonna get eaten, Harp! You gonna get eaten, Harp. You gonna get eaten. Harp, it's not worth it. Harp, it's not worth it. Oh god. Just go. Just go. Quickly! Quickly! Hurry! Run! Thank god it just ate. The only reason that probably happened is because that guy just ate a coyote and isn't hungry for harp. That's my that's my guess. Now, harp, I'm gonna need you to cook. Yep, there we go. Yes! We got porcupine. This is great. Guys, we're fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I feel really good about this. It's really good. Royal tribute collector. Go away! We ain't got time for this! Do y'all not understand? No visitors right now. Yeah, build the bone traps. Good. <gasps> Muffalo! We gotta kill them all. Not all of them, but like a lot. Like a lot of them. Yeah. Muffalo. 
my blow. Yeah. We got a royal tribute collector, but I don't care. They can just hang out. We don't need, we don't need it. What up, Pep? How are you? Come on, Harp, go hunt a muffalo. We need one, like, now. Or we're gonna starve to- Ah! Ah! Where you going? Stop it! Stop it! Because your problem. We don't have- These muffalo could wander out the next day, y'all. We- I can't risk it. I'm sorry, you gotta stay out late and hunt the muffalo. Gonna hunt you a muffalo. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ba 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 Pit. 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 There it is. Finish it. Yeah! Muffalo! Gonna get the muffalo. Go Barracuda. Hey, motherfucker, put that, put that meal down! Yo, I am not a fan of these assholes eating our food, man. Here, can I move this? This needs to be out here, yo. Y'all cannot be gathering, uh-uh, in our base, eating up our food! The fuck is this? Major break, who is it? Harp. Harp, be done. Yeah, eat food. Got any smoke leaf you can smoke? Oh, no, no. No, no, shit. That's not what I meant to do. That goes there. I always do that. I leave it connected. Yes! Harp, enjoy yourself a nice bathtub. You enjoy it. You deserve it. That's right. down. Whew. I mean, you can rename the rat, but I was just saying it came with a name. I didn't, I didn't just imagine Lolita. Like Lolita is what the, is the name that it popped out. I mean, that's pretty spectacular for it to just arrive with a name. You know what I'm saying? And now in the morning, Harp is gonna get up and we're gonna butcher all this food. Hey! Who are you? What the fuck is this? Buck? Hey, you don't belong in here. This is such trash. Y'all need to get out of my house. Get out of my house. I don't care if you're the royal tribute collectors. Get out of my house. What are we working on research-wise? Hydroponics, good. What up, Coach Marv? How are you, man? Welcome to everybody just now joining the stream. Happy to see you guys. Happy weekend. I hope you got coffee or whatever your morning beverage of choice is. And I hope everyone's doing well. So, so far, we're doing all right. The Thieves of Highworth. That's a good name. Come on. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, we need to get them out of the wire. Yeah, I don't want them eating our package survival meals just yet. Our animals are eating everything. Barracuda. Good, more muffalo, please. <gasps> Shit. Shit! It's hunting Barracuda. Are you serious? All right. I guess this is how we. This is how it goes. All right. First of all, I need you to reload. You gotta reload. Reload. Uh, right now. Yep. Can you shoot him? Are you shooting him? Get him. Yep. I'm gonna have to do more of that though. I need you to run and gun, boy. I need you to run and gun. Run. Run, Barracuda. No! Die! Oh shit, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be enough. Oh shit, and now Barracuda's just in rage, really? Oh God. Harp, go save her! Go save her! Bleed out, you bastard. Bleed out. Coming. 
Leave her! Oh no, he's gonna eat her to death. Yep, definitely gonna eat her. Run! Oh shh. Well. Okay. Barracuda's dead. Harp is way up here. We ain't got nothing else. I'm gonna try my best to recover what I can. But Harp's probably gonna die in the process as well. I didn't catch a donation of any sort. You're gonna have to give me a second. I'm very sorry. Uh, Barracuda's now completely been eaten. Completely eaten. You bastard. Oh, you ain't... You gonna take a big fat ass nap now? Come on, Harp. Finish. And look, I literally sneak up on him at night. Look what Harp's doing. Sneak up on him at night and slit his f***ing throat. Dead. And that's how Barracuda died. That's exactly, that's exactly how Barracuda died. And, th and then there were two. I did not see the, the donation. Okay, we'll, we'll get caught up. Death Barracuda, yeah. Listen, Barracuda went down in a rage. I tried, but there was literally, she couldn't run. And so she had to stand her ground. I thought we were gonna do it. She shot it enough to kill it or to make it like pass out, but not before it could eat her. No, no, we, uh, we've got some harps. You said what? So we're gonna name harp Vi- or we've got some harps. We've got some names. Harp is gonna be Viola. Can keep the name in the string instrument family. Okay, okay. Listen, harp's still alive. Don't give up yet, guys, come on. What do we have? There we go. Don't give up yet. <sighs> Brutal. Come on, man. Where are you at? Butchering? Oh yeah, you're gonna go get that other. Wow, man. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'd say the uh, Mega Wolverine had not quite fully digested Barracuda just yet, but nevertheless, we must uh, persevere and move forward. What's that? What's it doing there? I stopped that. We must persevere. As difficult as it is. Have I, have, what did I say, guys? No. I almost never make it through the winter without some sort of tragedy happening. It's just the, the way things go, man. It's just the way things go, unfortunately. <sighs> Poor Barracuda. Yeah. We the what sucks is and I and honestly, I need to still go back. Oh, the fucking gun. Shit. Go pick it up. Wait, can you pick it up and then also haul it? Actually, here. Oh, shit. So clear. Actually, y'all just go together. We gotta go get the gun. I can't just leave the gun and the ammo laying out there, man. It's hard. Life's hard. Life's hard. Now it plays music like this, of course. That's right, have a nice bath.
What did I say, man? I spotted that Mega Wolverine. I knew it! Alright, well, Viola, keep cooking. You and me, I gotta hang on now. We cannot give up. It's sad without Barracuda, man. Barracuda was one of the OGs, but she wasn't meant to survive. Not this first, not the first. The first winter is rough. The problem with losing Barracuda is she was our crafter. So, while we still have Heart or uh, Viola to cook, we don't have a character to craft, at least regularly, I think. Why, how come you can't? I thought you just needed smokely buds. Oh. So you, what, you gotta make the crude smoke leaf, I guess. How do you... How do you make buds, I wonder. I, I don't know enough about all this smoke leaf stuff. Just... I guess you can only make the crude ones to begin with? That's funny, I didn't realize that. I did not quite realize that. Well... I do not have the babies mod in this game because in my experience, every time I've tried to load up the baby mod, it causes weird wonky stuff. Probably just because I have too many other mods and they're obviously conflicting, but I don't know what's conflicting with what, so I choose to not, I don't mess with it. The animals can have babies, but that's it. Crude smoke leaf is like ditch weed. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's pretty unrefined. It's literally just the straight raw flowers that you have to to get like actual smoke leaf. You have to process it a bit more. But we did grow a little patch, and I did get some, so I might as well roll up a few smoke leaf joints in celebration for Barracuda's life. You know. And look, another buffalo. Well, at least we've got plenty of muffalos to eat. Ditchweed. I haven't heard ditchweed since I was in high school. <laughs> Let's turn this light off. ASAP. Mia, you can do that. I need another person ASAP. All right, we may have to reorganize our priorities because we don't have enough people to literally do anything. All right, Viola, you gotta construct. You also gotta hunt. God, we're not gonna be able to do all this. This is rough. Um, Mia. Cleaning and researching is very good, but it looks like we're gonna have to go crafting, smithing, and tailoring is hers. We're gonna be okay, I think. And we got nobody on growing, which is bad. Real, real bad. It's literally just the worst, the worst, uh, weed possible. Like, you could get weed in high school, but you could only get ditch weed. And you don't, it's just gross. It's just, like, someone that probably didn't know what they were doing in a place that it wasn't supposed to grow. But, 
it's weed. That's kind of the my take on it. Hydroponics are done. Great. Cool. Hydroponics are done. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Not everyone. Just I'm sad about Barracuda. I didn't even have time to get fully like. Ugh. Man, it's just like, ugh. fuck, man. Why you got to go and do this? Item repair. We should probably look into that. Repairing items would be handy. What am I hearing? What am I hearing? Oh, she, oh, what are you making? Smoke leaf? Nice. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Jugus. We gotta get through winter, man, but I don't know what the hell to do. This is not looking good. We now have more animals than we have people in this colony. Come on! I need a random person to join me. Come on, random person, and join me. This is what we want. Yep, definitely gotta stay up on our defenses. This is all gonna be really useful. Look, muffalo are gone. That's why you gotta hunt them when you see them, because if you don't, you're, oh, oh, where are you going? You leaving? Yeah, you leaving. Look at him, he's lost. He's like, ah, where's my herd? And there he's gone. And now all we got left Freaking coyotes and a black bear. Oi, oi, oi. Gotta be careful. We're okay for a few days, I think. You know, on the upside, people dying means less. Hey, Viola's having her nice smoke leaf there. It's a crude one, but still. over into the wind. Oh, yeah, I ran out of power. I didn't want to overload, and I ran it up too long. I'm trying to figure out if I can turn this every which way. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, just keep, keep building. Everyone just stay focused. I like that we have this little bridge here. This is very useful. Good work. What's that? Uh, a coyote getting a little close. He's by himself though. Let's go get him. 
I might have to give Viola the gun, the better gun. Good, organize, organize. Where's the gun at? I need to build some shelves so we can keep track of all of our equipment and stuff. There's the ammo. Oh wait, Mia, you have it in your, here, drop that. There you go, you don't need it. You don't need it. And then how about equip this? Yep, reload that bad boy, yep. But then actually drop, you don't need all of this. So you can drop that and you can drop that. But pick up, let's say, no, pick up like 50, 60. Uh-huh, where are you at? Uh, no, I said, stop it. Ah! Ah! What are you doing? One thirty-two. That's actually okay. Uh, and, but you don't have any more of the other. Mia, I may, hell, let's get her bio. Shooting too. I'm gonna give her the, the, 44 as well. Equip it. No, not as it's uh, Actually. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Stop it. Don't need that yet. Let me pick it up. Now, me yet? Where is it? Equip. Where's the Ruger? Oh, okay. All right. Are you wielding it? Okay. Reload. Okay. And then where's the gun? Or the ammo? Wait, yep. Taking... But I only want you to maybe pick up like a handful of those. Okay. Hmm? What the hell did you do with them? You don't need all those. sure we're good okay 87 all right yep that's important we needed that for everyone hauling that yeah lord have mercy viola where are you what you doing hunting an arctic coyote well stay safe jesus watch out for that black bear oh god that coyote helped oh shit there's another one You guys have enough smoke leaf to last you. Because we don't have a ton. What up, Dennis? was Bar By the way, Barracuda had those fibrous mechanites as a sickness and had been plagued with them from the beginning. So she was pretty miserable here since, like, we arrived. How are we looking? We got muffalo, ev or no muffalo anywhere in sight. But we'll keep picking up these arctic coyotes. I gotta watch out for this bear. When they get hungry, they'll attack, and that's a problem. And if they don't have anything to eat, then 
they eat us. That is also normal, Haley. Spending a lot of time picking the characters, totally fine. And they're, I mean, it's, I will say this, don't be afraid for them to have like, uh, like pros and cons. Them not being perfect is part of what makes it so fun. So look at like, when it's like, oh, they, they could, I don't know. Sometimes it's fun literally just to hit random and see what you get. Where are you going? More coyote hunting. Okay. Got him. We're doing all right. Listen, her, she was murdered by that thing. It knocked her down, but she went into a rage. I couldn't even make her run anymore. As soon as it hit her, it was like Barracuda flew into a rage. Like she was ready to snap. And so it was like, well, I guess she's just gotta dig her heels in. And she did good enough to, to essentially kill it in that it ate her and then it passed out and it was slowly bleeding to death. And I sent Viola to slit its throat and finish the job. So she didn't even have to fight it. So in that sense, Barracuda did really good. And we're completely fine on food now, for the most part. Yeah, like we're, we're good on food. We've even got, still got some backup food and like we're, we're okay. The problem is spring's gonna get here and I'm gonna have barely enough people to even get like a garden going. I need to replant the grass for the animals cause I need them out of my base. I have them inside my base for two reasons. Keep them warm and they can eat my regular food. Normally I wouldn't want them eating my food. I would want to have kibble, but we don't have a, oh no, Mia's got the mechanites too. What is this? Sensory mechanites. Why? Like, what is it? I don't understand. How are we still catching these? <sighs> okay, I'll keep looking at, um, try and find some. We got the loading bench, we got the electric tailoring bench. We do have hydroponics, which would be really good for us to like actually get some stuff planted and growing on a regular basis, but it's also kind of tricky. I need to expand. I definitely need to expand. Now, a drug lab, can I, I do I have to have a drug lab in order to get medicine? Like, I don't think I need to actually Build one. Hmm. All right, we have a tailoring. Is that that's this one? Cool. Let's stick that in here. A little tailoring cabinet. Cabinetto. death barracuda provided for the colony she did she really did like it was a it was a big that was a big help it just sucked that you know she had to get eaten in the process of it and she was only out there because she, we had to try to go hunting 
because we were starving. So like, good on her. All right, indoors is pretty cold. Still, it's negative eight outside. It's 49, 50 degrees inside, totally doable. And it's slightly above freezing in the barn, which I'll accept, like they can survive that. So my little torch is staying just fine, keeping them going just fine. But in here, it's a bit cold. Dennis, this game is, uh, I think what, RimWorld's only like 30 bucks, I think. And for that price, I think it's the best bang for your buck you can get in gaming, period. Um, but I will say this, just so everyone knows, the way I play is not the only way you have you can play. You can play this game a million other ways, and they're all perfectly viable and acceptable. So, don't, don't, don't feel like you have to model the way you play after me. This is just how I enjoy playing. See, we don't need steel now. We can do anything else. We'll still go maybe granite. Granite. And let's expand. We need to expand. Big time. There it is. Now, we can kind of see about. Now, nah, let's leave that there. Trying to see how I want to do this. It's kind of messy. The thing I'll also say is like, don't be afraid to redesign your base. Like you can't always get stuff working the way you want initially. And so you have to, um, be okay redesigning things, tearing things down, redesigning them. You gotta be able to do it. Going. 
Actually, in Bridge Wars, where are they at? Yeah. These make it possible for them to shoot over these walls. You have to make them out of these these embrasures, though. I don't really know how to say that. Yeah. Now, they could shoot out of that. I should do that for a, more of these as well. It's actually a really good idea. green fields all the way down. I'm gonna use as much of that as I can. That's really good. So my brain can... So, expanding kitchen and refrigerator storage area. Here, I'm gonna build the wall here and it be able to expand this down into more living space and or workshops. This can be, or yeah, the workshops can expand down here and this can become more of the living space, right? Which, is, which would make sense because it's near the food, near the bathroom. I can experience in the bathroom a little bit. Um, and then this space in the middle, I can leave open. I can eventually, like if I get a power plant going, right? And I'm providing a lot of power. You can tear down some of your old methods as long as you still have backup, right? But right now, I kind of want these in the middle protected. And they're protected by traps. Tra See, I've got all these traps laid out. I know, right? So you kind of forget about them, and then you're like, oh, that is pretty well protected. The only place I'm not, that's not true. If they come through on this side, they gotta go through all this shit, right? And get through there. And... I think probably eventually, we'll just have to go all the way over here. And this, I'll eventually have to seal this up right here. Boom. Seal the wall. Force them to come down this way. Light them up as they come down the side of the... Eventually just set up turrets and stuff. Like... Um, it's definitely got potential. The power situation is my only concern. Because all of the thermal generators are really far away. That one's the closest one. And... That's not really all that close. So, and you have to protect those because they will straight up stop and and destroy them if you don't have them well protected. And that's annoying. And there's like, you gotta run power lines. Oh, dang! Loco, thank you so much! Loco is encouraging me to stop. Thank you, Loco. I will take a break real quick. Uh, just stop long enough to get coffee. Not stop the stream. We're still going. Don't worry. We're gonna make it through winter, guys. It's the 11th of, 11th of August. We've got four more days to go. Barracuda was lost, but not forgotten. We couldn't even give her a proper burial because she got eaten. It's kind of messed up. We ate the thing that ate her, but we had to. It was just necessary. So, so allow me to do that. Loco, praise the sun. Thank you for your contribution, Loco. It's very kind of you and generous. I appreciate it immensely. And as does everyone else, because I know it all contributes to the support of the stream. So, if, uh, if you haven't, yet though this is my time to remind you guys to please like the video it makes a big difference thank you for supporting the stream in this way if you do i consider you a sponsor of the stream no matter what whether even if you know what even if you're not a subscriber even if you're just a passers-by and you decide to like this video because uh you would like to support it and support my channel 
you are a sponsor. Thank you for helping. That is the number one thing you can do to help and support this. I know it doesn't seem like much, makes a big difference. So don't underestimate. Don't think that your one click is just like, eh, it's not that big of a deal. It is, okay? I'm telling you right now it is, and you guys are amazing at doing it. So please like the video and give me just a couple minutes. Gonna get some fresh coffee and I'll be right back. And we are gonna get through winter together. We're gonna continue setting up our defenses. We're expanding. These, these women are determined, all right? They're not gonna let the loss of their friend be in vain. So, onward. Enjoy the music while I'm gone. And I'll be right back, guys.
back, everybody. Hello. This is your reward if you waited. It's time for a pupper mission. Because I know there are people here that are only here for the pupper missions. And I got this boy right now. Mm, I love you, boy. I love this boy. Hello, everyone. If you're just now joining us, welcome to my stream. I'm playing RimWorld, but this is a pupper mission. And this is, of course, Prince Stannis, a.k.a. Cheese Boy, a.k.a. a lot of other adorable names. Oh, yes. You a little bit more awake now, boy? A little bit more? Boy, what's the... I can't... Put you in the thumbnail and then you not be on. You understand? And maybe your mama is watching. Hmm? Maybe she is. Don't you want to like show her? Look. Squish him. Oh, he is your fishy. Look at them cheeks. Look at them cheeks. Yes, them jolly jowls. He's all spelt now. But he's still very, like, rolly, and his skin is, like, squishy. He's, he's still very much retained his cheese-like qualities, despite trimming up and becoming all svelte. And, like, man, it's like this boy went to boot camp. Yes, boy, you can just sleep right here. Speaking of cheese. Um, mm, this boy. Oh, kick them little feet. I know. You're, oh my goodness. Uh, can I have a sip of coffee, boy, without you? Everyone's saying hello, boy. Yeah, man, it's his jowls. Look at Jim. Cheeks. Look at that. Look how much look how much cheek this is. Boy. Goodness. What is that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that a little bit of food? Huh? Oh good. I'm glad everybody's enjoying today. Well, this pupper mission is slowly uh, coming to a close. I can tell this boy's getting real cozy. <sighs> Give me, okay boy. Where you wanna be? Where do you, oh, goodness. Goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this boy is a very, very loved. Yep, Whoop. I got. Look at, I love when he just like, ugh, like stretches. Like he just want, he's like, please just be a bed. Like, shh. You're very, but boy, I must stream. I must. I must. Where do you want to sleep, boy? Hmm? Where do you want to sleep? Oh my God, I'm so square. Whoa! We. Oh, Well, oh my God, I'm so squared. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm sorry you're working overtime, man. Like, unless it's just something you want to do, because I understand that as well, in which case, congratulations. But thank you so much. That is outrageously generous, all right? <laughs> and when I said that I knew that some people were here just for the pupper missions... I was, of course, uh, referring to what you had said earlier, which was, of course, a great reference to, man, probably our best shirt, because it has both their faces on it, right? And it was weird. It was <sighs> sold through, like, an old, weird way of your Amazon Prime could do stores, and there was, like, a, there was a way to do it. And it was when I was streaming on Twitch, and... Yeah, 
it was like available for a little bit and then and then not anymore so oh so the people that got those like that's it they're there that was that that was it um <laughs> yeah my god look at all the praising of the sun this boy has just lit he's literally snoring wow thank you thank you i'm so square that's huge man i appreciate it oh my god okay boy let's how about you sit in my lap and if you start squirming then you can get down I know you like laying in the bed here too. There we go. But put your paw right there. Like that. How's that boy now? Do you feel a little supported there? Hmm? And everybody can see the top of your little head. Is that the cheese boy? It is, Punisher. It is. I'm, and I'm sad to say you've miss, missed quite a long pepper mission. But it was also, uh, like, wrapped up n neatly by I'm So Square with his insane donation and support of the stream. Thank you. It's amazing. But I know it's just, I know it's just for the dog. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, shit. What the hell? Silence. Mm -hmm. All right. We good? Did, did, was there playing music while I was gone most of the time? Because I feel like maybe I clicked off because I, because I switched for the boy. But while I was on the break, it was playing music, correct? I mean, sometimes like right now, it just doesn't. Oh my god. You enjoy your day as well, Loco. Thank you again. Loco was also an MVP of today. Let's not forget. Thank you. I appreciate that so much, you guys. I know you guys know it is not necessary or required in any way, shape, or form. Um, so, I appreciate that you guys, like, do what you do as much as you do and and most importantly that you guys are like such a, a you know a good nice um presence in the community that holds a value that you know there cannot be a money number money number a money number put on <laughs> you know what i mean for real though just know that i also really appreciate that all right we're building some walls we're expanding y'all it's like the game new. Ooh, see, I can't play Spider-Man because I ain't got a PS5. That sucks. It was. Okay, at least it was. I try to leave it on while I'm gone. Because, I mean, let's be honest, the soundtrack is like... I'm sure you guys want me to shut up sometimes. Talking over the soundtrack. Thank you, Haley. I'm glad that the appreciation goes both ways, right? Like, that's what you want. That's what we need. We need more of that, man. Oh my god, and I'm so square's leaving? In the hopes that I might sing. Oh dear god. See, I can't. I will sing. I'm totally capable of, of singing. Doesn't mean that it's good, but. Hold on, come here, little cheese boy. Oh, look at him, he's so skinny and spelt now. That's not a song. See, I can't sing on demand. Come on, cheese boy. Oop. Do a trick, cheese boy. Do a trick. The Frankenstannis. Um, that's about all you're gonna get. How about a Frankenstannis? This is what I can offer you. Thank you. Oh god, we're going too fast. Boy. <laughs> come here. Money number dollar amount potato but <laughs> Exactly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here you go. 
go, boy. Then pause. Here, here, here. There you go. There you go. Oh, I've disturbed him too much. I've disturbed him too much. Oh, there. Yes? Boy, this is the first time you've gotten up on your own other than to eat this whole day. I suppose it's only 9.30. It's early. I was, I got, I got moving today and got stuff done. I still was started a little late. I was shooting for 8. It was like 8.15 by the time I got started. James Bond's new office assistant. This money number. I think it's good. It kind of rolls off the tongue. What? Strange signals. You have intercepted strange, several strange electronic signals nearby. While harmless on their own, such signals are often an indicator of mechanoid activity in the area. Great. Some of the larger mechanoids have heavy armor that will easily deflect all rifle fire. Viola says you need something that can deafen at least 20... Which can de oh defeat. What are what are R H A? I don't know what those are. And Molotov cocktails, which can sink into openings that heat, or EMP, which can destroy their circuitry. I don't know what the R H A is. Does anybody know what that is? It's still early. Well, your ear itching? Or are you just scratching? Hmm? Hmm. Meemaw's gotta watch him. Uh, let's see. I did nothing. I don't feel good about this. There's mechanoids in the area. I should have turned mechanoids off. Mechanoids always. <sighs> hey, go away. Oh my god, caribou! Shit, we gotta hunt, y'all. Mmm. The people of the caribou. Mm. How you feel, boy? Is your ear itching or are you just scratching? Are you okay? Look at them jowls. Look at that droopy face. My God. <laughs> what a droopy, droopy boy. So squishy. down a floor. Come on, there's gotta be like a two. Not wood. Really? That's it? I don't have any basic ass floor? Give me some basic ass floor. I like this pebble look though, you know? I dig it. Hmm. Oh my god, I don't have enough. So, let's just start here then. He can't see his own face, though. Boy. Actually, he barks at the mirror. And I, I think he knows it's himself, but I'm not sure. If you told me that he didn't, I would believe you. All right, we're not done. One more. Like this. 
And I think, yeah. God, this is bad. Where's this loading bench? Can you make? I cannot make whatever type of ammo that was. Is it R H A? I probably have to research it. And I'm not. Great. Oh shit. I'm 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 I feel like this is not a good sign, guys. <laughs> not a good sign at all. EMP. I need that desperately. Okay, I guess we're gonna research this. The problem is that means we're down to one person. If Mia's gonna be researching the majority of her awake time, her work time, that means she's not doing anything else. And uh, micro electronics is a huge research, and that's just to even get the EMP. Otherwise, all I can make are some Molotovs. I think I can make some Molotovs. So we can try to burn them to death. The problem with burning them to death is that we live in a forest. So if I start a massive fire, guess what? That's why those uh, points where it's like I have the traps in the walls, the traps in the walls, it kind of acts as a barrier if there's a fire on one side or the other. But ideally, you keep them on the outside, and then you build out to those walls, right? Like, that's, in my mind, how this is supposed to work. But we got a problem with some mechanoids, and... I got no way to defend against them. Really. <laughs> I'm svelte. This dog, oh my goodness. This boy, so handsome. You handsome boy. Oh my goodness. I love when he acts as like a little foot warmer, too. It's just the best. It's the best. Ever since he went uh, and stayed with Courtney, the dog trainer, man, and did his like training, he has been, he's been in such good shape. He also strolled, like, whereas he was kind of scared of outside, he... He now is not afraid. He enjoys a good stroll outside. Whereas before he would run out, use the bathroom, and then run back in. Even when we had a backyard that was completely closed in and safe, he would barely go off the stone, like the little stone part of it, the porch, and barely go off of it and then sprint back inside because he's so terrified of outside. But now he's a, he's a brave boy. He's grown up. He's grown up. Ain't gotten in shape. He also plays fetch for like an insane amount of time. And just is happy to play and play and play. I don't feel good about this. crafting allowance because Barracuda's dead. And I'm pretty sure Viola has that here. Four. Okay. At least she has a passion for it. So that's gonna be somewhat useful. All right, that's... Oh, wow. Why, I didn't actually need to build that. Oops. Um, eh, maybe I did. <laughs> I'm gonna need more... Um, supply, or whatever you want to call it. Maybe. Nah, if I do it like that though. But he have this is just not I just don't have enough space is a, the problem. 
If I go here. Okay, wait, I think I know what to do. See, I gotta move my door. That's the problem, also. And then somebody's gonna have to make doors here in a second, because we ain't got no doors. How about we go out here, though? Street light. Watch what watch what I do right here. Mm -mm -mm. Have I always said these? Mm. It's just my regular shelf. There it is. There it is. God. Working overtime, man. She's like, I'm so squared, for real. She is working overtime. Now, you know what I am gonna do? I'm going to change their production, their schedule to, to actually work more. No, no anything time. If you have time to do anything, you have to work, unfortunately. I took meditation down to an hour, recreation down to an hour, and then just working. Why are you sleeping? Wait, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She only needs eight. Everybody's working way more. Like, way more. But they're still getting eight hours of sleep and an hour a, a, each of meditation and recreation. That's two hours a day. A full night's sleep and two hours a day of something that's not work. I think that's fair. Right now, we are in crunch time, man. Because also, as soon as it turns spring, it's not like we can plant stuff. Right? It, okay, major break. Who's about to break? Yeah. She's good. Just chill, just chill. Do whatever you want. She's crafting. I like it. This is very good. Why, why sad? Why is it? Why are we sad? It's warm. What do you want? You know? She's wearing 
a hat. Nice. A blue fur hat. So this, this is gonna be our fridge. And I'm trying to get this built now, basically before summer, because that's when it'll be warm and stuff's gonna rot really fast. Things are actually not that bad right now because the it's so cold outside and that it actually extends the life of my food a little bit. It's basically like keeping it in the refrigerator. We can survive it and the food stays cool. But next year, I would like to have my refrigeration in place, and I kind of need, uh, you do need a big space. It seems like a lot, but you need it. And like, open up the kitchen here, like remove this wall, open up the kitchen, have like a fridge area, food here. And then this is a wall that we can defend. So they can stand here behind a wall and shoot, Pew, 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 as they run through these walls and traps. I think that's pretty good. I think I want to cut down these trees, though. I think I want... You know what I mean? Right? That just gives them more cover. Here. We can get to it, like, eventually. It doesn't have to be right now. At least the ones, like, in the, you know, immediately in the mix. And I'm trying to let Mia research as much as possible. It's pretty important. Alright, we're running low on food. Let's go hunt some elk. Level 13 in construction. No free, no free downtime for you, peasant. Not right now. There's only two of them, man. Turn that off. See, it's kind of pushing her. I gotta, I gotta stop overriding what her desires are because she's, she's like about to snap. She's literally just okay doing what she's doing. Like, okay, but we, somebody needs to go hunting. Cause our food is not gonna last us enough. yet. Just because we're approaching the end of winter does not mean we are out of the woods yet. And I'm still feeding a horse and a mark buffalo. Keep that in mind. Like, they eat food too. That's why as soon as I can, I gotta get whoever my garden... I gotta get both of them gardening as number one priority and just be like, you, I know you suck at it, but you gotta take care of it. That's life. Um, 
Well, a snake slithered by because he was walking out and it scared Charlie and him. She saved him though. She was ready to throw herself, you know, in front of him. <gasps> a slave eye. Now, we could free a slave and have them join us and help us. But, we don't have very much money, so that's the problem. <sighs> All right, come, come slave us to the, to the spot. Break me a don't do it. Mia, go talk to them. I say I'm gonna leave her alone. They're all really expensive. Like, I mean, I say that like they are people. However, I don't, I don't even think if I sold, if I took all their money. Bear, wait, 1500. I'd be able to afford all but this guy, I think. Mila, therapist. Wallace, will you buy any of these things? Couldn't even sell stuff if I wanted, man. Yeah. My only other option would, oh Jesus, would, shit, would be to attack them. That would go terribly. Look how many there are. There's two of us. Don't y'all touch our food. Don't you do it. Well, that didn't work. Hear that voice snoring? Yes, I do. What is this? Is this a door? No. I need to just see a letter. No downtime for you, peasant. Keep working. She's just busting her ass, dude. She's like building this, and then building this, and then building this, and then building this. Like, she's going, going for it. Let me tell you. Where are you going? Can you go get him. Go get him. Where are you going, Elk? Where are you going? Come back. Oh no! Don't leave. Don't tell me you left. No! Don't tell me you left. No, you gotta die. You gotta die, Elk. We gotta die. Get we gotta I gotta hunt you son. Sorry, we need you. Oh shit! Oh shit! Elk revenge! Hey! Holy shit! No, not like this. Mila or uh Mia! Jesus. No, man. Go, 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 go. It's so far. You're never gonna make it. There we go! Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. How are you? You're injured. Are you bleeding? You're not bleeding. You're good. Viola's good. She's good. Everybody, she's good. <sighs> Boy, that sound like thunder. Snoring. The story of the snake getting into the house? Yeah. I, I was... It was so funny. It was so funny. Tegan was 100% willing to come to my rescue. And... She, and as soon as she realized it was a snake, she was not. But she was honest about it. She owned it. But she was the first to come to my aid. So... So... Um... People were sitting outside in, by the pool, right? 
the chairs, the area, and the pool area. That's where everyone was congregated at the moment. And for a time, because I believe the smoker was going at this time, the door had been propped open, the door into the kitchen. And, oh shit, did I? This is plugged in. Yeah, we're plugged in, we just ain't got no power right now. Is it a solar flare? Oh shit. Rest. Can you self tent? Oh shit. Sorry, I interrupted it, idiot. Ugh. I'm a bad mayor. You're good. Um, that door being left open is, we're pretty sure why this happened, but I had run inside because someone had wanted to play VR. So like me, I was like, I'll go get it set up so that when we go inside, it'll be ready to go. So I run inside, I set up my VR, I'm gonna put it on one and let them just do their thing. Um, I run in, I set up my stuff, I was in the, the, the area, like the open living room area, setting up my things. I turn around and when I look in the kitchen, in the corner, right where you stand, if you were to be, I don't know, washing your hands in the sink or something, um, right there in the floor was a huge black snake. Like, huge. Like, I couldn't see the end of it, right? Like, the, the hallway, like, it, it was so long. So I'm guessing six foot at least. Um, and I... <laughs> I, at this moment, the door had been closed because I came in and I said, you know, we should close that. Like, no one's, like, we should just close this. So I close it behind me, right? So now the door is shut and I'm trapped between the kitchen and the door. Like, I can't get to the door without going through the kitchen and right by this thing. And I'm, so I'm like, but I also don't want to lose sight of him. So the last thing I need is this giant black snake slithering around inside our house and we can't find it. Like, no, I cannot sleep like that. So I'm like, I don't want to lose sight of him, but we got to get him out. So I start going like, help, snake, snake, help, help. Like trying to get somebody's attention. Tegan hears me going, help, help. Springs up out of her chair, comes running, opens the door and hears me go, snake. And she goes, nope, and shut the door and turned around. Uh, and then Shayna and, uh, um, well, Candace's dad, hilariously enough, managed to trap it with a pool skimmer, um, and, like, some sort of other device, and, like, pinch it and then take it out, and much to my, I was not very happy about it, they released it into the wild. Um, yeah, I did not like that. I said, if it came in once, it will do it again! You've crossed the threshold, I'm sorry. Um, and it was huge. And it just worried me for like puppy and like they can bite. It's not that they're, they're, they're no, they're not poisonous, but like it scared me for the dogs. And I mainly, the main thing we had to make sure we had to hold the dogs and thank God they were outside too, because puppy would go for it. And a black snake that big would scare me. Like that little, listen, Shane and I had that little, the little garter snake that like got puppy on the lip right they don't even have teeth right but it's still like and it was little and you can like fling it right it's not a big deal i would not want to wrestle a six foot black snake off of her right even if i knew it's not poisonous not something i want to do so yeah that's the story and so first of all once i knew that they came in i forgot the best part of the story um once I got help, once I acquired people to come in and help me deal with this snake problem and get eyes on it so we didn't lose it, um, the second I had help, I bolted into the nearest room and grabbed the nearest machete, all right? Big machete. And was 100% ready. I said, if it comes this way, like, I'm chop, I'm, it's, de it's dying. Like, it's gonna happen. Like, if it comes towards me, I'm not gonna let it slither by me and not, like, take a swing. So I was ready, and then Shayna was like, no, you're being crazy, and I was like, whatever, dude. Like I said, I cannot sleep at night with this thing in my house, and either you get it out, or I'm going to chop it in half, or multiple pieces. Like, I cannot, not in my house, dude, not in my house. Anything, not loose in my house, uncontrolled, right? You can argue that these things are not poisonous or not harmful but the, also no one here is an experienced snake handler and can handle that thing and keep it where it's supposed to be i literally don't want to wake up with it you know in my bed not just mm -mm, not a not an experience i need to live so 
I was totally prepared. I didn't have to. But... It was just because he made the right choice and didn't slither towards me. space that you live in there's a difference there's a difference there's a difference once they're inside the space it's like nah man i'm sorry this was a mistake like it is that's a mistake outside the house totally different snakes they're listen it's florida they're everywhere they are everywhere other than keeping them away from the dogs i don't really have any concern for them not inside the house doesn't not okay. Listen, dude, I grew up in the woods, and we have always dealt with creatures making their way into your house. Like, it's just inevitable. Like, if you live in an area that is rife with them, but there's gotta be rules, right? Same with spiders. I'm actually, a, I believe in spider bros. I think spider bros, I think it's legit. Like, you want spiders. I like having them around the house. I don't like having them in the house big difference like big big difference and it's like maybe they would still be helpful inside but on the off chance you know that I'm allowing it to be inside the house that increases the odds that it's going to end up uh on me or you know like I said any number of things that I do not want to risk just not good I grew up man anybody know what a wolf spider is I grew up in a log, a log cabin, all right? Pretty far back in a wooded area. And I want you to know that I grew up with wolf spiders in my house. And no, I'm not joking. They would literally grow to be this big. Huge, huge. So big you could hear their legs as they moved on the walls and in the floors, okay? Hard rules. Inside the house, dead. Outside the house, they actually helped a lot and kept other bugs and stuff in check and were not an issue, okay? I do not like wolf spiders though. I'm like, nope, if you are in the house, I am, you're, it's death. Death is the only option. I'm sorry, you made the mistake. Like evolution will take its course and you will know that you do not come into this house. All the bugs in the area will learn you do not go into that house or you die. Got it? And then, and that's just like the deal with nature you gotta make if you're gonna live in it, I think. So, but outside, totally like it's there, that's your domain, have it, you know? Do what you need to do, spiders. It gone for the warmest spot. I mean, maybe because it was in the kitchen area. And yeah, it was, they, they managed to kind of get it on a stick and like have a thing that was like holding it in a whatever and like holding it <laughs> and it was just chilling. And then they set it free and you know, we decided that it had to have been because we left the door open for longer than a minute, right? If it had, if the door had set open for any length of time at all, that was probably why. It snuck in, like you said, looking for a warm spot. I don't think it was being malicious but it needed to come out of the house. And also I was willing, and it's more of a defensive puppy. Like I said, can I have this thing risk? Like she would go for it and I it would just, nope, 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 nope. It would go bad. She would bite it and then it would bite her and then it would be bad. Trust me, a machete to that thing would be merciful uh, compared to what would happen if it, it went for puppy. survival meals. All right, it's spring, guys. We made it to, we made it out. We made it out. What's up, Alex? We've arrived out of winter. We're talking about snakes and spiders for some reason. Um, and Barracuda's dead. But we've made it to spring. So hopefully we can get 
some gardening done here soon. Growing, even the handling needs to take a back seat. Mia, can you plant it yet? No. Not yet. We got any more elk? Yeah, we do. Go hunt them. Mia's got a pistol now, so she can at least defend herself. Viola? Viola? What do I call her? Clicks on video. Let's talk about massive wolf spiders. Yep. Yeah, so I kind of have like a no mercy policy, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately. You know what? In your house, you can make whatever rules you want. Like you can you can set whatever threshold you're comfortable with. The the, the flora and fauna of the area, but not a fan of. Why are you ca you're carrying one? Where are you butchering? Oh my god, you're to the north. I'm sorry. I thought it was to the south. This map is huge. Alright, we're gonna be fine, guys. died but but mark muffalo uh, lolita we we don't have a name for our horse yet no one no one has become friends with the horse we don't really have anybody like all right you gotta sow the area yep yep well nope don't, don't stop just, oh, wow i can't sow any of those yet what that sucks Jesus, a meteorite? I don't have time for that. Did we plant all of these? What? Bad temperature, great. Well, we planted something. I, I got him trying to plant stuff as early as I can, even if it doesn't grow, or it just it grows really, really slow. Thunder. Huh. That was thunder. Surprised my internet's holding. To be perfectly honest. Cannot make 
looks like. Maybe more lives though. Just free rocks laying on the ground. A lot of granite, good. That's what we like. Great, a raid, perfect. Just what we needed. This guy riding on a horse, carrying a submachine gun of some sort. Great. Absolutely great. Just one though? No, two, of course. This guy with a gun. Well, this is it ladies. I guess it's do or die. We we survive this, or we don't. We're gonna see how, hopefully they'll hit some of these traps. They are at least coming from this angle, so that's good. But I'm gonna let them do their thing, eat food, do whatever they need to do, sleep. That's what Mia's doing until they attack. I don't want to get everybody like locked and loaded. Plus, I want to see if they hit the traps. And if you stay inside, they're more likely to run the course of... All right, they're beginning their assault. All right, now... Let's go here. Yeah, you're sleeping. About... She is about to break. She got mechanites, I forgot about that. Causing her great pain. Gonna let her sleep until they see what they do. Oh boy. They're gonna hit these. They're gonna hit these. That's right. Yes! Yes! I love traps! The other one's like, I'm out. Now look what we're gonna do. You got on you. Yeah, you can you can keep that stuff. That's right. We're capturing your friend. Your horse you're lucky your horse ran off with you, dude. At least you get that. Here we go. Toggle refuel on this one as well. Oh, you gonna regret it? We got your friend. We got your friend. Undraft, refuel. You're lucky you get a torch at all, my man. Medical emergency. Oh no. You tending? Oh wait, you should be tending. Tending. We. Oh lord, he may not survive. Uh, reduce resistance. Stacy Lynn, there's a, been a lot that's been missed. Are you gonna survive it, this dude? Yeah, you might, actually. Feeding. Mia's reached level three in plants. This is great news. Keep doing what you're doing, Mia. Yep, we need grass, we need, yep, 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 yep. All right, now, zone, animals. We gotta get on this. Muffalo. Grazing area is now here. They can eat this grass, so it's very important. You know what, Lolita the rat? You can stay in the home area. There we go. Barracuda died, Stacy Lynn. She died, was eaten by a mega wolverine, and and then, and then Viola slit the thing's throat in the middle of the night. It is she killed Barracuda almost killed it. Like she injured it to the point that it basically ate her and then and then passed out. God, we got a disease. Shit. All right. Well, good. You get medical practice. That's if nothing else, it's medical practice. That's what we got. Yep, see medical, 11, perfect. Uh, we've tended it, we're gonna clean the area. Oh. I can't get the blood. 
blood. If he lives, he lives. If he dies, he dies. Campfire, we need that. Good, good cleaning. I dig it. Yeah, we should butcher this before it goes bad, though. Yeah. Reza. Let's look at her. Female, age 19. Bounty hunter of the Red Tree Bandits. She doesn't even have an adulthood because she's only 19. As a child, Reza was addicted to reading. She would spend all day in her local library with her nose in a book. When a budget cuts forced the library to close, Reza was distraught. She decided to fill the gap by writing her own stories and desks. She gets artistic and intellectual. Is she incapable of nothing? Now, she has a chemical fascination, so that is not good. So we have to set her on a no drugs ever policy, okay? But too smart and ugly. But that doesn't really affect anything, okay? I mean, unless people are also horrible people, which you have those as well in Rimworld. Now, she would be a great researcher because of this, like extremely high global learning factor. This is insane. But it comes with a chemical fascination, which is, mm, you know, it's not necessarily the best thing ever. All right, let's reinstall this here and give you a bed. Do you, you want to do that? Always put them the wrong way. Uh, like that. That oh. prisoner now captured. All right, now you've got a nice fur bed. You have a minor infection, but we're gonna try to stay on that. And hopefully you survive. We're gonna reduce resistance. You can't have any good medicine, I'm sorry. But you can have the the other stuff. I think we'd be okay. Actually, we're running kinda low. <laughs> All right, fine, you can have the good medicine. There. Let's do it next time. That's right. Who who was it that renamed uh, Viola? Was it Major Fomo? Right. That was a good that was a good renaming. I have to agree. We also have Mark Muffalo. Wait, or did he do Mark Muffalo? I can't remember. Woo! Pick up hall. No ex empty accessible spot. Oh shit! Look at this. We are totally. Full on our storage. Let me fix this. Need to fix this. This is bad. Yeah, we gotta get this. Uh, we gotta get this finished. Yeah, I like how you preface it with "There's no alligators yet." You, you did Mark Muffalo, right, 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 right. It's great.
I'm so tempted to for like override and force them to do stuff, but it's better to just let them do. Do some resistance. Join us. Major infection, but it's being tended to. I think she's gonna be okay. Low opinion. I'm glad she stays on cleaning. Shaman. All right. Do you guys wanna? Wait, are these? I'm not gonna eat them. They're like a week old. Caribou. trade do we have anything we can get from them some pemmican Infused medicine? <laughs> it's industrial medicine infused with CBD. What? More effective than regular medicine, but not as effective as glitter roll medicine. Well, that's cool. Two of those, but they're expensive. Do we need maybe pemmican would be better? That'll give us a little cushion with food. Because I don't really want to get rid of anything else. I want to keep this ammo just in case I pick up, you know. Those are armor piercing 45 rounds, so you, I, I don't remember him losing his gun. He dropped the, the ammo. But he didn't drop the gun. I don't think so, anyway, unless they already put it in here. Oh, they did. Yeah, but there's not that much. Actually, I can make it, right? 45? What's this one? That's what it takes, right? We got 45. Piercing rounds are also like, it's tricky because it's like, if I had enough people, I would have some people with armor piercing and some people with the FMJ, but right now I feel like I just need the FMJ. But we also need some stuff to deal with these potential mechanoids that are coming. I just, I can't make the ammo that it recommended yet. And it's just it's stressful. Raisin might pull through. Raisin might be the the new member of the colony.
Did we pick up the stuff I bought from them? Throwing knives. Why are those even there? And no, we did not. Who's about to break? Shit, it's crazy right now. Fresh meat. Now, I'm wondering if I should give her the little SMG thing here. And her bio. So trigger happy means aiming to have a Shoots faster but less accurately. So she should have like a, a spray and pray and not this 40, this like magnum. So, okay. Equip. Uh-huh. Gear. Drop these. You don't need them and pick up, I want you to put, yeah, that's fine. Where's the other? 44. She got the armor piercing and the the other. All right, they're leaving. Goodbye. Oh, they left a gift. Oh, some fur jeans, really? All right. I'll take it. Where to go? All those bad boys. I mean, that's great. All right, raise is fully healed. How about that? about that I'm just like shocked well this is where you live now Reza you know what be happy that you have a bed a nice bed Mia what you doing you need to chill See, honestly, having a prisoner, even even if it's maybe not the best idea, the only way they level up their skills is by actually practicing doing them. That's why I was like, even if she does nothing but die and I use some of the medicine, you need to do that to raise the skill. Now, there's, of course, the argument of, like, well, you need to save your medicine and not use it, like, in case of emergency. You don't want to waste on that. But yes, but also, but no, like I'd still at some point have to, if I want to get better, I'm going to be wasting it anyway on my people because I'm not going to be effective at using it if I don't actually practice. That's why it's good if I can to get some of that, um, the heel root growing because you can harvest and basically just harvest medicine that works as a bare minimum, you know? It got warm enough to plant, and then and then not. It keeps going back and forth, so at least got some things thrown down, like the grass. But that's it. work though. She doesn't just stay on one thing the whole time. Good. Alright, those batteries now. Look, I can deconstruct this and give even more room. One more. Ah. What's that? 
A door. Got it. Nice. She's getting shit done. I love it. Later, Dennis. Take care, man. Thank you for hanging out. Ooh, look at my cute little street lamp. Where's my power cord? Let's run some power. Produce a lot of power, you can use a lot of power. You lose a lot of power. Oh God, me is in a daze. Oh shit. She's just wandering outside in the field aimlessly. Come on, Mia, get it together. It's not that bad. Barracuda's dead. So what? The animals are still here. You know, Viola's still here. Just because she died doesn't mean we have to just give up hope. Now get it together, go to bed. Relax, shake it off. All you gotta do is basically plant, do do the fee, do the do the growing and research. Viola's is doing everything else. Animal starvation. Why are we starving? They could, I thought, who, I guess because no one's training the animals, they're not actually feeding them by hand. That sucks. Okay, we've got a big expansion here. This is really good. Of course, we get all of this now. The end of winter. Come on, Mia. Get it together. Viola can't do this by herself. I mean, she probably could, but it's not going to be good. Some lights. Actually, yeah, build build those first. Build. You can do this, Viola. She's holding it down. She's actually pretty happy. She's doing really well. I'm hoping when she breaks, finally breaks free. Oh, she's out here in the woods area now. Just don't, don't go in here. Come on. Viola, can you talk to him? Deliver food. Chatting. Aww. Mr. Chance to chat. Because Mia was busy being in a daze. Jesus. This random. The game is so random. 
And yeah, oh my god, all my friends do deserve all the congratulations. Um, that is so true. Yes, Mia and Keith are now engaged. Congratulations to them. I'm sure you guys saw it. It was amazing and just the best. Just the best. I'm so happy for my friends. And Sarah and Ray had their wee baby Cash has been brought into the world finally. And he took his time to make an entrance, but it was worth it. And I'm so happy. Like, it's so amazing seeing my friends just experience all this incredible stuff. So, yes, I agree, Stacey Lynn. Good call. Who's that? Rana? Whoa. What you guys doing here? Passing through? Who said you could pass through? Oh, God! Oh! A warg? There's a freaking warg out here? Holy shit. Uh, we're gonna have to kill it. Mia's gonna get eaten by it. Oh shit. Oh no. Um. Shit. She's gonna get attacked by the warg. Oh my god. I can't send her out there yet. Hopefully it eats. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Please come inside, Mia. Please shake it off. Please shake it off. Please shake it off. What's oh, extreme break? Yeah, 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 yeah. Take a bath. Do what you gotta do. Lord! got severely injured, these sorts of things are for the best. You're fine, Reza. Everything's fine. You need to just relax. And everything's gonna be fine. Clean up the blood a little bit. Oh. There we go. There we go. We're good. Everyone good? Tend to Mia real quick. She needs it. Can you self-tend, Viola? Do you need that? Lordy mercy! Reza, we're gonna need you to not go insane like that. Bad hygiene can she maybe. 
guess I could put a, like a little well in here. Can you move? Can you move these wells? Like reinstall? No, you can just build another one. Here, look at this. You get a well. Just tell me what other prisons give you a well? You know, they don't. They don't. I love how they're both that left. This is exactly what I intended the medical bed for. Wow, Mia's content. She's really happy with herself. She's even feeding Reza. What well, not that nice? She discouraged, she discussed, discussed the community with her. She's really trying to convince her. Good, and we're back to planting. Look at this, Mia's back on track, baby. She's killing it right now. Yep, this is all good medical practice again. We'll clean up all of this as well. Oh my god, I'm excited to see Stannis in a tux as well. She was literally sending us pictures immediately. Like, within hours. It was like, what do you guys think of this tux? And we were like, any tux on that boy will look amazing. Good lord, could you be bruised anymore? You are messed up. We've got a whale now. A whale? Whale. Like a well? A well. Reza, you're good. Just stop trying to be insane. Some of our food is rotting, but that's okay. these trees down inside in here. That's right. Keep planting. Plant everything you can. We need you to get better at this. She's doing pretty good. I'll make you go a little bit more. Sucks so bad. Look at getting a fridge uh, sectioned off here. Wait, maybe a little lower? Hmm. 
Wait, no, 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 I know what to do. There we go. Refrigerator. build this part first before I remove the other. We're not really the ready to completely open the infrastructure. Also, we gotta take into account heating and cooling it. You're right, they are, you are, I have this fear of like, you're gonna just constantly pack them up in a box and, for, and not know. Like, don't do this to me, you know? Don't do this. God damn, she is killing it. Baron Elk are fighting. Oh, Mia. You're doing great, Mia. Keep planting. Free food, baby. We're good. Holding on. Yeah, that wall light is barely giving us anything. Like, barely. Can I throw that purple through here? Street light. What up, Jacqueline? It's all good, no worries. This is uh, not the last stream by any means, so there will be more in the future and I look forward to hanging out with you and stuff, so don't worry about it at all. And you already liked the video, that's what I was gonna say. It's still completely possible to do that and I appreciate you taking the effort to even do that, so thank you. <laughs> Type five. They've they've chosen their fate. I understand that. Like you're just like yeah. It's like I can't. If you're gonna be if you're gonna be a psycho cat, like I can't do anything about it. All right. Is this guy bleeding out? He is. We could finish the job. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. It's risky, but let's do it. Reza, don't you want to join us? Hell yeah, Viola! One shot, one kill. We got bear fur. That's good stuff. Is it blocked or we just got no wind? We just got no wind. Fill up a little bit more. Now, let me see if I can build a few higher production things. Like an electric smithy, perhaps? The smelter will be good. 
consumes a lot of power though. But see, you can turn it on and off. It doesn't have to just stay on. I should maybe get an electric stone cutter's table. That might be even more useful. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. Steel electric stone cutters table. We need to speed up. Listen, if we're gonna be just two people, we gotta speed up production of these things. Jote. Jote. I like this. I like Jote as well. It's like I call JDG JDG. Some things are just a lot to say. Doesn't mean they're not still great. My name is a lot to say. It's why people like to shorten it. Um. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to let this stay built until we build the replacement. Mia, what you doing? Cleaning? That's good. That's nice. We need to plant more grass. More grass and then expand the buffalo zone. on growing wise. of it, but it'll keep them from being in full-on starving mode. I think everything except the rat. The rat, you know what, he can be, he can go around in the home area. He, she, Lolita. Clearly. Join us. You know you wanna. I don't like this war. Shit. It's scary. Very scary. Shit. Get away, warg. An otter. Oh, shit. He's hunting who? Lolita. Oh, shit. Lolita! Get inside. See? Okay. Change your mind. Lolita's gonna stay inside. Get inside, Lolita. Get inside the house. Get inside the fucking house, Lolita. Now what are you doing? Go eat something else, otter. Look at him. He's getting that. Grab it. Got him. Good. Okay. Lolita has to stay inside the house. But this warg, this warg's gonna have to die. I'm about to assemble the troops and we're going to take it down because it's gonna eat one of my animals, I can feel it. Let's do that. Skin. Amazing. I'm 
amazing. Um, let's see. I'm gonna wrap things up around 11.30, guys. I know it's early. I started early. I'm ending a little bit early. Just know that the weekends are for gaming. And that I hope that's what everyone continues to do. I'm glad more people are watching this one. I'm so excited. My RimWorld streams always have lower numbers, but I think it's just because it's a lesser known game that's, it's it's not initially, it's like harder to, um, I don't know, understand what's going on initially. All right, and we move the stool, perfect. And then we can disassemble this bad boy. It's hard to know what's going on and really understand the game, but I think if you give it a chance, you'll discover one of the greatest games that's ever been made and continues to be updated and, and modded regularly. So, it's a great, great game. Highly recommend it. This is a good run so far. Enough tragedy where it's like, damn, it sucks about Barracuda. One person, in a honestly, in a colony, like, one person dying is like, it's like, it, it, it is a lot, but in a colony of like eight to 10 people, it's like, you can keep going. When there's only three, it's literally like a third of your workforce and productivity just gone, just gone. And the two left are just way overstrained. I'm lucky, honestly, that Viola's so um, versatile and good at all the stuff she's doing and like she can cook, she can hunt. It's really lucky, because otherwise... And honestly, Mia too. Mia's great. She's doing... She's definitely picking up the slack. And I think it's going to be good, but... Oof. It's rough. Losing Barracuda was a severe blow. Now, next wall I need to build is here. We need to seal this off. But I'm going to get the stone cutting bench. Oop, not 2,000. 350? Is there like a tent by tent? Can we do this by tent? Uh oh, Raze is gone berserk. Raze is gone berserk. Come on, don't make me use this. Viola, go punch her in the face. We gotta just, we just gotta do this periodically, I guess, until she snaps. Mia's level six in melee, though. Where you at? Go, Viola, go! Don't make me use this weapon. I will use this weapon. I will use it. I will use it. Critical hit. Yeah, baby. Oh shit, she gave one back. Viola, are you almost here? Jesus Christ, come on. Hurry. Mia might get hurt. Oh no, if she steals her gun, we're screwed. Don't you do it. Hit her. Smack her. Get her. Boom. Get her. Get her. That's right. Get her. Reza, join us! We just want you to join our colony! Join our colony! There we go. She's good. She's fine. Everything's fine. All right. Everything's fine. Del oh, no, no. Uh huh. Clean the blood. She's self tending. Good, good. Good. No, no, I never want to suicide. I, I don't really like suiciding the colony because it's, it's never um, that simple. You, a colony is, can survive a lot. It's really like, Surprising sometimes what you can survive in this game. Jesus, all right. Are you bleeding? No. Good Lord. What up, Solo? I don't know, man. Maybe her chemical fascination whatnot is... It's too much. I thought we could break her of it, but... Social... She's friends with Mia, but always attacks her. Bear meat rotted away. We 
can't get in a fist fight every few days, Reza. It's too much. We need... We need to get somewhere. Two seconds, guys. Not this is not a break. Don't panic. Just like the video if you haven't yet. That's all I'm asking. But give me a, give me a second. finish strong. They, we're not letting them break us, man. Not like this. A raid, of course. Of course there's another raid. Come on, Vitixen. Vitixen. You're gonna hit a trap. That's what's gonna happen. hit a trap these these raids of one or two at least most of the time we can be protected with just the traps okay is he gonna get through the traps where's he going where's he going where are you going Vixen? all right you're gonna be smart and go around that way huh See that path? How did I not see that path? Where are you attacking? I'll let him go. Where are you going? Get him. What do you have? That's right. That's right. Oh, you're dead in two hours. You are done. You are done! He did. Nope. No, uh... No prison time for you, Vixen. You're also way too dead. Like, we, we kind of destroyed you. Okay, first of all... Lita, home. Now, 
people. This is crazy. And they're like, and we're just gonna go back to bed and just, he's dead out there already. That's that. And that is that. Deconstruct this wall and start to reorganize our kitchen as well. Oh no, our electric pump is broken. That's what components are for. Doesn't seem like a problem now because we don't have too many things running off components, but they do break periodically and it becomes problematic. just gotta like deal with it and move on and it's so oh god I get so attached sometimes oh boy okay so look all these batteries are really full and so I'm gonna turn off this thing right here so we stop pumping power into the base wait are we connected I don't know that oh what's the problem wait actually yeah that's good that's actually perfect Probably for the best. Well, this is what you do. You patch up the holes. When you discover you have a hole, you gotta patch up the holes. stuff Haley. I'll watch people play after not having watched someone stream it in like a year and I'll click on it and then I'll see them do something and be like oh. Or I'll be on the subreddit and see something and be like oh 
Oh my god, I never thought of that. Like, it's just crazy how sometimes you're like, oh! Oh! <laughs> huh! So there's always- this game is so massive. And the mods require you to play it very differently. I'm playing with the uh, Combat Extended, I think it's called. And it's- it basically gives the guns- there's actual ammo, it makes them more realistic, more deadly, more effective, basically. Um, I just, I, I, it makes guns and ammo a more valuable resource. You know, you don't find a handgun and just have infinite ammo for it. Like, is how, that's how vanilla is. <clears throat> Some people prefer that. It just fits their playstyle more. I think the, the guns and ammo and playing it more like a survival game fits mine more. I like having to ration my ammo and find the right kind for the right job and I, I like it. I know it's Viola, but sometimes I look at it and almost say, voila! There we go! We got a little toilet, got a little well. Come on, Reza, you got it good. Admit it. Just admit it. Just admit it. Um, we're gonna install here. Uh, deconstruct. Add a wall light. Upgrade. We're upgrading our little barn real quick. And I think there's four beds for them to choose. We got zero food right now, though, for animals. Unfortunately. Gotta get some potatoes growing. Um, let's grow some rice. Rice grows really fast. Give us some more stuff to work with. Gives me more to work on. We should make that a door. I didn't even notice. Look at temperature. Uh, cooler. Now this one doesn't force the hot air in. Okay, so what, we can put it like right here and it'll f make this one really cold. And I may even do two, like one on each side, but for now one will do. Oh my God, I'm low on steel. Would you look at that? That means we actually gotta mine up the steel. Easy, easy grab. Uh, any others nearby? Really obvious. Right here. Plenty right here. Actually, this is probably the one I want to get next. Yeah, we're gonna get next. I think we're gonna be okay, guys. We're getting it together. You know what I've decided so low is it just depends on the game. If I have the patience or not because some some games it's like really fun to play in a completionist way and other games it really almost can kind of ruin the game for you 
it's too, like it shouldn't feel like work. See, I do good on stocking up on food, and then it they eat, and they're good for a while, but it rots. That's why I gotta get this this refrigerator. It's gonna corner her. No, you bastard. No, you bastard. No, you bastard. Die! Come on! Oh, you gotta reload. Shit. You can do it. 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 Fuck him up. Fuck him up. This is it! Yes! Oh, come on, Mia. That's what I'm talking about. Is she hurt? She's hurt. She's bre- her lung, oh shit, death in 21 hours. Haul that bad boy, come on, come on, come on, come on. You gonna get ready to actually, you know what, here, drop it. Reload. That thing is the only thing that saved you. Oh, you didn't keep, oh, you're good, okay. She's like, no, no, I can carry it. Oh, okay. We gotta get Viola to heal her right away. Mia, please rest. Tend. Keep her alive. Why is she not using the best medicine? Wait. Is she good? Or was that the elk that had that... Huh? Was she? Right lung crushed. Oh, she's good! Wow, she had a life-threatening injury, but we patched it up and she's totally fine. Would you look at that. That's insane. Good lord. And we got three of them, actually. Would you look at that? If this is Thieves Heisen! You're goddamn right. Amazing. That's what I needed. That was a little, that was a good finale. She survived it! How's Reza? We doing good? Can we convince you? Let's deliver some food to you. Yep. Good. I mean, it's summertime. We got grasses a growing. We've got food and hay grass are growing. <sighs> Mia's uh, had a rough night, but otherwise, we're we got food for days now. We're gonna eat it up. It's good stuff, man. I think we did it, guys. This has been a great success. I know I I started a little earlier today, and thus I am wrapping up a little bit earlier. Um, so I hope that's okay, everyone. I will not be streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sundays, and I almost 100% of the time take Sundays off. Not to say I haven't streamed on Sundays or that I won't again in the future, but just so you know what kind of what to expect, don't expect me to stream on Sundays. A crate with a panther called Buckhead is crashing into a, in a transport pod nearby. If rescued, it can freely join the colony. Wow, a panther. We gotta tame him. Or rescue him. Rescue him. Go get him. Let's save Buckhead. Buckhead, now you can't go crazy and attack everyone. Let's drive them to shit. But, 
hopefully um, Monday or Tuesday next week I will be able to stream again and be back at it. So don't worry, this is what we're doing right now. I'm enjoying this, this playthrough immensely. So I don't, I don't really want to do anything else right now. This is it, this is working for me. be careful with the thunderstorms here because we live in a forest. Fires are bad. Real bad. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm glad you were able to be a part of it. Shout out again to my MVPs. I'm so squared. And Loco Ombre. Both of them showed me a lot of love. But there were a lot of people I, I say that, that but it's not to downplay anyone else's contribution. So you guys that support me, you give me your watch time. Um, and any donation, large or small, is incredibly appreciated and you guys I, I hope you guys know that you feel that um, and I appreciate that you guys do what you do uh, in support of this stream and this channel because I really love it I'm really really enjoying what's going on streaming has been it's very therapeutic for me so I'm happy when I get to do it it's very much my happy place um, and Sundays are a good rest day but it's really from more of like a planning perspective and get, get like a logistics like I need to be able to get certain things done and it's good for me to rely on being able to do those things on a Sunday in preparation for all the things that I'm going to do in the week. So it's just a it's good in that sense but I think I'm going to make some power dough this week. I do I am going to eventually make a video and show you guys how I make bread. I finally feel confident enough like like I could, like, I want you guys to understand, I'm not an expert or a pro, and it will not be like an instructional, like, here's how to make sourdough, because there's a lot of that online. Oh, so fly, thank you so much. Cheers to you. Do I have any coffee left? Happy cheers. Cheers, so fly, thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about. Um, what the f was I saying? Um, well. Don't remember. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bread making video. That's what it was. Thank you for the reminder. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. Um, I am gonna make. I am gonna make a bread making video eventually. I'm confident enough. Like, it's not an instructional. I'm just showing you how I do it. Like, this is how I do it, and I've now done it to the point where I get a good result from doing it that way. So while it may not be an instructional and it may not work that way for everyone, for me, this is how I do it. And I do think you guys would be, I do think you'd be really into it. Like I'm, I love it so much and it's so neat to see like, I don't know. It's just not, it was just a, it kind of took me by surprise how much I enjoy this hobby. So I will do that eventually, but um, I'm going to be recording more Asgard's Wrath. So while I may not be live streaming for the next couple days, um, hopefully on Monday, even if it's a little bit later, um, I do want you guys to, you know, keep checking back, check the community tab, check out for new uploads. I've been putting out Asgard's Wrath. Uh, I have some other stuff, perhaps some Sea of Thieves that I would like to record and have on the channel and so that you guys can enjoy. So whether I'm streaming or whether I'm not, uh, you guys still get a variety of content on this channel that I like putting out. You know, this is what I like doing, but I still want a variety. And I know that people like watching a variety, so... So, I'm gonna try and provide that. But, that's it for me. Let me save and quit, make sure I don't forget. Bread making video and Duke Talks. Keep me on track. These are the things I need to do. I want to do them. I want to do them. They're great for the channel. They're good for me. Like, it's all... It's all win-win. But these things take scheduling, and you gotta just, like, get shit done, take care of your stuff, take care of your business. And we're getting there, one step at a time, one day at a time. I'm doing it, you know? Um, come here, boy. Hey, boy. Let's say goodbye. Let's say goodbye, boy. Come here, boy. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. This boy. Oh, Julie, butt. Oh, he's so hefty, even 
though he's skinny now. He's a boy. The most famous boy in the world. Yeah. Hi, Stan. You had a good day today. You had a good stream today. Thank you guys for being a part of it. I know you guys thank me for the stream, but I thank you guys for being a part of it. My lurkers included all of you guys that watch, you comment, you support. That is incredible, and I couldn't do this without you guys. I I'm, I I feel like this is such a good, positive place, and it's something I'm really proud of. So, thanks for being a part of it. Right, boy? All right, everyone. Praise the sun. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Make sure to follow Up, Up, Down, Down. Watch BRE start. This week's episode was uh, Shayna playing Battle Sister in uh, in VR, on my VR setup, by the way. And it's incredible. You should watch it. I, I love like I love letting my friend, friends experience stuff like this. So definitely check that out. But there's new episodes every week. We have a variety of content. Couch co-op, like you name it. The BRE is doing it on Up, Up, Down, Down. So be sure to follow that. Check that out. And uh, that's it, guys. I'm out of here. Take care. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you later. Bye.